It's Sophie for Culture Compass and I'm here with two of Mallory Knox. How are you? Very good, thank you. Having an interesting day, to say the least. <laughs> good. When you say interesting, you say it with a wry smile. How's it gone today? Well, I think the wry smile is, uh, is, is definitely the case because it's just... It's been amazing. Like it's very hard to put into words just how uh, surreal and, and incredible this this day's been so far, you know. And we're only like three quarters of the way through, so so it could get even better. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Isn't it? Are you in the same dreamy state as well? The thing is, I've 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 got to be honest. I've never even been to Redden and Leeds before. I've always wanted to go. I wanted to come to the Blink headline, and then to like find out that like that my first time here was going to be opening the stage that they like headlined two years ago. I was kind of like. How's it gonna go? And then we turned up today. Like we're all, we're not like pessimistic all the time, but we never, we're never sure of ourselves. We didn't know how the crowd was gonna be. And then when we turned up and we walked out to what the like, how many people were there? We're just kind of like, how the hell did this happen? It was kind of thing. It was crazy. It really was. It was a huge crowd, wasn't it? For a start of the day, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, couldn't, we couldn't have asked for any better. Like, but all I wanted was for it to not rain, and it was like a light drizzle. But then the thing was like the crowd just. It was insane. It was. It, I honestly think it was probably the best show we've ever played. Like it was amazing. It was insane. Sure. It's crazy. For sure. It just puts us in a very good uh, mood and and uh, makes us very much look forward to Leeds tomorrow. So yes. we got to get we get to do it all over again, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Now beforehand on the run up, did you have sleepless nights where you stress, where you go, guys, how are we gonna do this? Every every like honestly, and I won't say every night, but there was an, I had a, I had an actual dream where. We were about to walk out to main stage and I didn't have my bass. That was an actual dream and I tweeted about it in the morning. I was like, three weeks till Reading, had a dream last night that I didn't have my bass. So I was like, let's hope that don't happen. But yeah, I, to be honest with you, I've been, I've been very chill up till last night and we were, we were in the hotel last night and, uh, and I had a pretty, I had one of my, uh, I'm a good sleeper. I sleep like through everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had a very disturbed sleep last night, and uh, I think it was something to do with this. But I, I'm, I'm glad to say I think I'll be sleeping soundly tonight. For sure. Yeah, you can just enjoy it a bit more tomorrow. You know it's going to be fine. Yeah, for sure. It's now, fine. I hear you've got a tour. I'm going to have to go down because I'm getting cramped. Okay. I'm, I'm quite old now. Do you want to sit here? No, no, Are you sure? no, no. It's fine. What a gent. So you've got a tour announced, I hear. Yes. So can you tell me about that? Who's joining you on the tour and when it starts? Well, the it's like and gets announced after this so like we actually turned around and like saw the, all the posters up in like the festival so we're like oh there you go that's cool um we're gonna uh main support is uh blitz kids they're gonna yep. be coming out with us and a band called crooks so yep. it's a, it's like our longest tour we've ever done i think it's like we do about two and a half to three weeks and then in the middle we go off to do warp tour australia and then we come back and do like four or five yeah. more shows in the uk and uh, it's about a month's worth of, of tour for us which is uh which is going to be interesting um but we're so looking forward to you know uh those kids are, are, are really good friends of ours a uh, great british band and 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 uh, crooks are, are an upcoming band that we're, we're really looking forward to, to meeting and getting to know and and to enjoying as well so you know it, it, it it's we couldn't be happier really right now, you know? I can tell. Yeah. You look chuffed. It, it, chuffed is a good word. <laughs> chuffed is definitely a good word. Yeah, we will. That's the thing, like, when we found out the tour, it was, like, so long. We were like, can we do this? Can we do this? Like, but then we go, that's what I said. If we didn't know if we could do this today, so this is kind of give us just like, like you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's it just gives us it. so much faith in, in our fans and, and people that are interested in your music, you know, because it, you like to kind of... You want to try and stay a little bit grounded, you know, and, and I think with that comes a bit of self-doubt and things. But, you know, maybe I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, we, the worries will be for nothing and stuff and that, that people will really enjoy it and that, that, that we'll come out to a show and stuff. So, yeah, I think it's going to be great. Do you think if any of you did get a bit big-headed, there's always going to be someone in the band that says, oh, cut that out right now? Absolutely. It never absolutely. I don't think it could happen to any of us, but, like, if it did, like, as I said, we're also, like... We are just definitely grounded for what we are. Yeah. Everything that comes like this is kind of like when you don't turn around and be like, oh yeah, good, we're going to play that. We're like, what? Why are we playing? Like, that's crazy. Like, we don't understand yeah. like, I think how it, that happens. If so. anyone gets too sort of big for their boots as well, I think like we kind of just, I don't know, it's like a bombardment of, of banter and. Uh, yeah light insults that kind of bring I think everyone's straight like confidence there. in this band has gone down just from the banter that we have on tour it's like <laughs> our tour manager when he first started with us couldn't believe it it's just non-stop yeah. just... he was probably the most confident guy I've ever met and now he's just like we've broken, broken him. him he's just this he's just broken what's the man. thing you pick up on then on him what's the thing you rib him about the most like the haircut or the haircut yeah 
Not that, that there's anything wrong with it. Enjoyed it. I was nah, straight away. He's, he's took one a... look and looked at the hair. I was like, what's the thing even the Met? I feel, like we should get, I feel like we should get John in here, like, just to show his hair. No, he, uh, he's he got quite a... I mean, we've got quite strong accents anyway, being from, like, the Fens and things, yeah. but uh, John's got a strong sort of Kent London boy he's accent. He's got his own little so. words that he likes to make yeah, up. So yeah. we, uh, we've adopted a whole new language now, thanks to him. So, yeah, we, we like to keep it up. It's good. I think he knows we're talking about him. He's talking a bit shifty. Yeah, I want to keep doing it, make him feel awkward. <laughs> We should put a message in there for him because hopefully he will watch this interview we need to back. Like a little picture that comes up in the corner of John. Like I can sort that out. I'll edit it and add it in. Okay, I'll, I'll get you the photo and we can sort it out. <laughs> a special photo, I imagine. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. There are plenty of those. Not in, a, not in that way. That sounded quite dodgy, actually. <laughs> I'll ask James for those photos. Back to Reading Festival, is there anyone that you've been stalking throughout the day, secretly spying on any other the bands or legends that you want to go and talk to later? Well, obviously I think everyone in the world is keeping their eyes out for, for Eminem. Yeah. But I don't suppose for a second he'll be, uh, he'll be out. And if he is, he's going to be surrounded by like 900 bouncers, yeah. uh, uh, bodyguards or whatever. So, I don't I know. Think, yeah, Eminem's the top of my list to see, but like... Out of like bands, like I really wanted to watch the 1975, and I'd love, I'd love to have watched Def Havana if we weren't doing stuff today. And that's the thing, I'd love to watch Biffy if we're on the same day as well. It's yeah. just, it's just you so could go bands. on and go. It's on always the one. But you there. know what? The vibe is so great in uh, in this festival as well, and and so many of the festivals this summer. That like, there's no, there's no egos and there's no crap. You know, like everyone is just so nice and, and uh, welcoming and, and, and you, you really kind of build up a real uh, strong bond and friendship with a lot of bands, you know, so there's very few bands you actually stalk because it's so relaxed that you can... You don't need to. Yeah, there's no need for Say a stalk. Hey. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, so it's fantastic in that respect. How do you feel when people come up to you and they're a bit starstruck with you? Is that surreal considering how new you are? We did a signing earlier and I thought, well, again... We'll be there for a whole of 30 seconds, if like the whole two people, they'll be fine. And we were there for 45 minutes, and in the end, the queue had to get stopped because the other band coming to do a yeah. sign and had to go Which in. And, a it, real shame, and it was it's the weirdest, it's, it's the coolest thing, but it's the strangest thing. Like, people like want to wait around just to say hello is yeah. the coolest thing. Why me? Yeah, why yeah. us? Yeah. Why Dave? Why would you want to say hello to Dave? Like, I'd, remember, like, I'd want to say hello to Dave more than I would me, though, <laughs> to be fair. So, Where more. is Dave? Dave, I don't know. <laughs> he could be anywhere now. Yeah. The, the music's he could be over. He's on his own and he's just, yeah. yeah the music's over know. and the beer's flowing, so Dave could be literally anywhere. <laughs> could he be. be in danger, do you think? Dave's always in danger. <laughs> oh, Dave's Dave is dangerous. Dave. Dave is danger, Dave. dangerous Dave, literally. Like, <laughs> he, he coins that name, like, without a doubt. I'm going to leave you so you can find him and hopefully yeah, save him. him. Got to actually, yeah. It's been, it's been 30 minutes without uh, an adult supervising him, so uh, it's probably a good thing. Okay, good. Well, have a great rest of 2013 and best of luck. Thank you.